take it to the farmer. It was Dr. Norman Borlaug's last words and is the most concise expression of the culture and spirit of the Sasakawa Africa Association. The take it to the farmer concept, which stems from Dr. Borlaug's own life experiences, clearly conveys the SAA spirit of determination. For more than 50 years, Dr. Norman Barlog had battled against hunger and poverty in developing countries. As the driving force behind the extraordinary change in agriculture known as the Green Revolution, which swept India and Pakistan in the 1960s, he became both celebrated and controversial. I grew up on the land, on a small farm in northeast Iowa. Life was not always easy. I experienced the economic depressions of the 1930s. And from this experience, I felt that families on the land needed help from scientists. And I dedicated my life to science, and especially to food production. The Sasakawa Africa Association started uh, uh, 25 years ago, no, about November last year, way back in 1986. Sasakawa senior, Ruichi, now late, uh, called uh, Norman Bola, Dr. Norman Bola. He's also late now. And said, you know what? I'm watching what is happening in Ethiopia. I'm not happy with it. Can you help me to go and do something in Africa? And then from what I'm told, Norman Bola said, oh, I'm too old now. What can I do? And then, uh, Sasakawa Senior said, if you say you are old, how about me? Let's start. And so when uh, Roichi Sasakawa died, Sasakawa Senior died, his son Yohe promised to continue to carry the mantle with the father's uh, goal of trying to rid Africa of hunger and malnutrition. Let's take a look at the activities of the SAA. Roughly 80% of the population in the sub-Saharan Africa depends on agriculture to produce food and income. Yet, agricultural productivity is stagnating because of decreasing soil fertility and changing rainfall patterns. Moreover, high population growth adds to food insecurity, leading to more poverty, child stunting, and malnutrition. This problem cannot be solved fundamentally through provision of material or equipment, including money, food supplies, and agricultural machinery. What is more important is to build capacity of smallholder farmers to increase productivity and generate income through continuous support through training and demonstration. For smallholder farmers in Africa to improve productivity and their livelihood to get out of poverty, enhancing yield is not enough. It is also necessary that the harvested produce is properly processed and stored to meet required quality standard. It is important that farmers then have access to markets to sell their products. SAA's strategy is to help farmers benefit from a better participation in the agricultural value chain. In order to respond adequately to farmers' demands and offer expert knowledge, SAA has created five thematic areas within its portfolio, crop productivity enhancement, post-harvest and agro-processing, public-private partnership, human resource development, and monitoring, evaluation, learning, and sharing. Theme 1, Crop Productivity Enhancement. The theme introduces improved agricultural technologies to farmers and extension agents, such as new varieties, efficient use of organic and inorganic fertilizer, crop protection, and other good agricultural practices. So we use an approach called the technology uh, farmer learning platforms where we use the technology option plots, the women assisted demonstrations, 
and the production test plots, those are at first step adopters. So these adopters also help to teach other farmers who we cannot reach, but through the community-based facilitators and lead farmers like Madame here. Now we encourage them because they come from groups which have a membership of around 20 group members. We encourage them to also teach those groups to teach others so that we can reach as many more farmers as possible. Theme two, post-harvest handling and agro-processing. This theme concerns post-harvest handling and agro-processing appropriate value adding and storage technologies that reduce losses and biological damage to produce due to mold and insect infestations. It gives farmers an option to keep their products until the market price is favorable to them. Also, using agricultural machinery to process crops reduces the amount of labor required and can raise the value of products. Some of the participants in the SAA training on threshing methods have purchased their own threshers and started threshing businesses in their localities. In Ethiopia, some of these entrepreneurs have increased their yearly income tenfold. Theme 3 – Public-Private Partnership and Market Access The third theme aims to establish public-private partnership involving stakeholders along the value chain such as input dealers, microfinance institutions, and agro industries. It is critical for smallholder farmers to organize themselves as farmer-based organization to work with these actors for more profitable access to market. The theme supports women agro-processing cooperatives by providing a number of trainings including business planning and management. It helps the women members run their business to generate income in a sustainable manner. The theme also carries out trainings on cooperative management and collective marketing for a number of cooperatives and unions. It enables those big farmer-based organizations to sell their produce to agribusiness corporations and international organizations such as the World Food Program. Theme 4 – Human Resource Development The fourth theme, Human Resource Development, involves partnership with agricultural universities to train the frontline personnel, mainly extension agents. Theme 5 – Monitoring, Evaluation, Learning and Sharing the fifth theme concerns the management of program information through monitoring and evaluation, as well as data collection. Over more than 25 years, since 1986, SAA has carried out its activities in 15 African countries in total, including the four countries where activities are currently underway. Now, over the years there, since Asakawa has been around, that proof is there. But governments need, need to take this one up. So some of the countries we have moved away from, they are still our biggest potential to get lift people out of poverty, to provide not just food, but also to create jobs as well. And most of Africa in Africa is done by on small holdings. So farmers need to be organized in a different way and for our heads of state to be added that there is an opportunity now for us to show a difference on that.